to another series for M Creator. So today what we're going to be starting is a brand new series that will focus on um, creating an entire new dimension. And I thought I would just go and kind of go over some of the stuff that uh, we will be doing and then we'll get into the thing. So I have some quest outlines, some uh, biomes and a whole bunch of other uh, goals for the actual project. So each one has its own little thing. Uh, we'll get started with basically going ahead and creating the dimension. So we actually have something to work with uh, because obviously without a dimension we won't really have anything to work with. So we'll start with that and then we need to create uh, just kind of set the dimension fluids and base things. We'll customize that all later but I wanted to make sure that uh, the settings were very close to vanilla so when we actually work on it I'm going to disable the portal as well and we might integrate some things with those triggers later on so the next thing that I wanted to do was create uh, just a couple folders to kind of organize things uh, make sure that everything is quite organized and then I started working on a uh, script that when we do something we'll end up going to the dimension I was thinking maybe sleeping in a bed or you know waking up or something like that but then I realized uh, we don't really have anything to trigger that so we would constantly go to the dimension if we were to actually um, sleep so we needed to create a, a variable and uh, I was just going to set it as a local uh, a logical one so we could basically test now that's all great but I needed to make sure that the actual system has a proper variable so we need another procedure in order to trigger this variable and what I was thinking was we could actually kill a witch or another entity or something like that and what we could do is we could make sure that the variable is set so we're going to make sure that the variable is not true already and then we're going to test if the entity is a certain type and once we do that then what we can do is we can basically go ahead and make sure this variable is for the source entity now that's all great but we still have the biome that we need to set up so let's get into that um, I needed to actually test for another thing which was if the source entity was the player but we can't really do two things at once so what I ended up doing was I ended up just going ahead and testing for both the server player and the the um, the player itself and what this does is it makes sure that the source entity is going to do that and then we're just assigning the variable all right so that was pretty much it uh, we got that so what I ended up doing next was starting to work on the procedure that we finally could set that now that we have the variable set for the actual uh, what do you call it the variable that we can test for we need to test if it's true and then we're going to run a command uh, to teleport the player to the dimension now I'm going to actually quickly paste all these things in uh, in just a couple moments because I did get it wrong so we're gonna have to improvise and go in game and stuff like that um, again there's like several commands we have to force load the chunk to make sure that we can use the fill command and then we're using the fill command to uh, clear out an area and place down a block and then we're unforcing loading the, the chunk and then what we're doing is we're finally teleporting the player but of course that won't work because I like I said before it wasn't working because the commands weren't properly set up on my end so what we'll end up doing is we'll end up going into game and then we'll fix that up so I needed to create a dimension so I just quickly assigned some default blocks we'll be changing those later and I wanted a kind of like a different color for the planes biome that we'll be first working on and I'm not going to have any trees um, well not very very many trees or anything like that so I'm just going to set the default settings so we can basically go ahead and 
have some grass for kind of just to see what it will look like. We'll be making our own grass and stuff like that. But um, that's all good. I didn't want to set any of these settings because they're pretty much all vanilla settings. And I just moved on to uh, that. And then I was thinking about adding entities, but I didn't in the uh, end. We'll probably add them later on. And then just the generation settings, I was looking those over and I decided to leave them alone. So that's basically the biome all taken care of. And now I just needed to make sure that this was linked up to the dimension. So once the dimension was, uh, or the biome was linked, I could finally test in game and make sure that the commands were properly set up um, according to how Minecraft actually uses the commands. So this is basically what I did. I just used the tab and then I minimized it and then started pasting it into the irrelevant command parts that weren't working. So once I did that, I could uh, do all of the other commands and I just shifted the, the different uh, positions and stuff like that. So this is running the fill command. Uh, basically what this will do is it will basically turn it to error. And then I just wanted to basically test if this actually worked. And it was a little bit laggy, but it did teleport me to the location and I did fill out the location with the um, planks and stuff like that. So basically it, we got that part all done. Um, the biome is pretty good. Uh, I like the coloring and everything. The water color might be changed. I want it maybe a little bit more teal like and then we might be able to adjust that. We'll just set the time to day so we can kind of see what's going on and uh, yeah it looks pretty good. Um, it will look even better when the snapshot for the next update will be released so we can migrate the biome over to that version and then we can play around with some additional sub biomes and stuff like that. But uh, at the moment it's looking good. I have that raised kind of plains biome look to it so it's a little bit higher than just a regular biome and I like how it's uh, generated pretty good. Uh, so yeah that's pretty much it. I just wanted to take a quick look at the caves, kind of see what's going on in here. It doesn't look like there's a lot of caves generating, but there is some, so at least on this island. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the color. So the, we'll be integrating some custom grass and creating some blocks and stuff like that. This is actually really cool. So. Uh, we When I was exploring, I found this little cove thing right in here that would be great for a little pirate cove or something like that. Probably won't remain the same when we start adding different biomes and stuff like that, but that's the only downside. Anyhow, uh, that's all I have.